good evening everyone i hope you're all doing well i am also having a good time so today i'm going to show you how you can um, run your node.js application in docker so let's get started let me hide this making control bar that's great so my goal is to um, run a node.js application in in docker using docker uh, and in this process you will learn what is docker what is docker images what is docker container so first what is docker docker is a uh, tool that you can use to uh, run applications or uh, create applications in uh, one uh, operating system and run it on different places with containers so uh, we need to know uh, two things image and container image it's a, a kind of a bundled uh, package that can be used to create a container and container is a process that is running in an operating system and which executes the uh, code that you have uh, created and actually makes the applications so to do this first we are going to create a simple node.js application so uh, i'm opening my vs code and i'm going to uh, do npm in it okay i'm just giving a name okay so i have created an npm in it then i'm going to uh, add some packages npm install express i'm going to install the node express so that's the uh, node package that i'm going to use and then i'm going to um, i might use uh, ejs oh, sorry npm i i means install js and others if needed so first of all let's create a new file called uh, server.js inside that i'm going to uh, use express i'm going to require express then i'm going to create an app and then i'm going to uh, report so it should be process env dot port or port Four five zero zero. Then we have to get app get slash request response. I'm going to use arrow symbol to make this function. Send uh, AWS with tick. Okay. That's good. Then app monitor. So app dot listen. Port number. Then console.log app started. Okay, let's see if we can run it. I sometimes use yarn, sometimes npm, so don't get confused. 
So let's see if we have everything installed. Yes, yeah, start. I made a mistake uh, and okay, so I just uh, uh, I just I think made some mistakes on the express, just getting started. You can just view the code here hello world it's very simple some oh, that's okay some port Oh, let me use a different port. Let's see. Uh, probably this port is used by some other application. I will check it later. Let's see if I can. Right now. Okay, so let's go to port 800. So it's running fine. Now I'm going to stop it. And then I'm going to create a Docker uh, Docker file. This is a blueprint where we uh, specify what we have to do. So first of all, um, this is the Docker file and it starts with from, I'm going to use the node official image. So let's node, I'm going to use node 14, then I'll find, 3.15 okay i guess this is the correct image why i'm using the alpine because um this is the official release from node with alpine linux and alpine linux the most uh, smallest linux distributions available at this moment it is very minimalistic it doesn't have any extra packages and it is uh, really good to use the Alpine ones because it has a very small in size. Because if you want to use Node Official 14, its size is around one gigabyte or 945 megabytes, whereas Alpine is only 100 mega. So it's one tenth its size. So uh, this is the form, and then we are going to work, set the working grid. App. Then we are going to uh, set a user. By default, the node uh, official image comes up with user node. Then uh, what we have to do is um, create copy. Package JSON to OK. Then uh, what we have to do is run npm install or uh, npm install to install all the necessary packages that's inside that. Then we are going to copy everything from uh, our uh, host machine to the container. And so at, at the end, we need to run, uh, we need to expose port 8080 let me just verify which port we are using if you go to server.js 8080 that's the port we are using so we are going to expose the port from the container to the uh, outside world with this and then we are going to use cmd sorry cmd to uh, run node with server.js so pretty simple right what we have done is we have uh, taken the official image node alpine we have the set the working directory we have uh, used the user node we have copied all the files from packet.json to the container then we have run uh, npm install we have copied all files from local to the container we have exposed port 80 and we have, at the end we set the command node server.js 
now two things we have to uh, add that is we need to add a docker ignore file dot docker ignore this is actually optional because we want to ignore the node modules uh, we don't want to copy node modules to the container because that's unnecessary so let's do that node modules and also package lock dot json and uh, any git files that we have to use so docker ignore is actually similar to git ignore so when we specify copy we uh, do not want to copy these files because this, these are not really needed and these are unnecessary so now we are going to uh, create an image from this docker file so i'm going to run docker uh, build so I only build then give it a name aws with a thick and dot dot means this directory and let's try to see if we can build the image It might take some time because uh, depending on the internet speed and uh, all those packages and uh, images needs to be copied from the internet and um, that's why it might take some time but let's uh, wait for a few seconds and let's see what happened here okay so we are using node but node doesn't have permissions to copy files and then what we have to do is uh, run uh, we are going to run uh, ch on um, node and then slash So let's see, because the permissions uh, of, we can build, but let's try if we can uh, do that one more time. Sorry, I have to specify R. Let's try one more time. Stage minus mode. Okay, let's, for the time being, it is not ideal, but I will look for it. Let's use root user. Um, this is not really ideal to use root because root has all privileges, but at this moment, I'm going to use root to just see if it works, then I will try to find out a way. Okay, so the image build was successful. And if I uh, clear my screen and then Docker images, we will see that I have created that image here, AWS with Atik 12 seconds ago. And this is the size is 123. And there are some other sizes like this is, you see, the node official release. I have created other uh, images, which is size around 949 mega. So what happened over there that I have used the node 14 official image, but in this uh, Docker file, I have used node 14 Alpine version, which is one tenth of the size. So 
my image build was successful, then what I'm going to do is try to run it. So Docker run uh, dash D for daemon, then I'm going to use P for port uh, 8080, 8080, and then the image um, AWS Pick and let's see if we can run it. So let's see Docker PS. The processes are running. This is my latest one, which is up for three seconds ago. And let's see if I can go to localhost 8080. And then, ah, yeah, it is running up and fine. So what we have done, we have uh, created a simple Node.js application or Node.js Hello World, and then we have created a Docker file with Node image with Alpine uh, Linux version. We have built the image, we have run the container, and we have successfully run the applications on port 8080. So um, I think this is an uh, introductory video for Docker. And then in the next videos, I will show you how you can upload this Docker image to AWS registry service. And uh, over there, you can uh, create your private repository registry and save those images, which can be used in your CICD pipelines or other places. So thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. And I hope I will create more videos on Docker. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.